Alright everybody, welcome to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. So, um, as I said when I was finishing up Majora's Mask, well actually during Majora's Mask probably, not as I was finishing up, um, I'm gonna be playing this game, obviously. Now, um, I've obviously played this game before, and as you can see I only have three hearts, and that's because I attempted to speedrun it, and I got to, I think I got about to... Well, I got I got the, the the first pearl, the the red one. I forgot what it's called. But let's jump into this game real quick. I actually have a new recording set up that I'm trying out right now. Oh, and for the first time, we actually get to use our full name. Crazy. So there's a pretty long, long cutscene that starts the that it starts off with, but this is one of the legends of which the people speak. <clears throat> should, I, should I like commentate in a weirder voice? Long ago, there existed a kingdom where golden power lay hidden. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll like do everybody's voice differently. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. Maybe I'll like voice act the the characters. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand. A young boy clothed in green appeared as of nowhere, or as if from nowhere. By the way, music in this game, best shit ever. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy who traveled through the time to save the land was known as the Hero of Time. And if you guys don't know, that's a reference back to the Ocarina of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when the well, when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. I do what I mean. I, I know what it means, but I don't know. I've never heard fell before. Once again, crept forth from the deep depths of the earth and fucking something about something. The people believed that the Hero of Time would again come to save them. I have no control over the text boxes, by the way. But the Hero did not appear. Faced by the onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew ni as doom drew nigh, they left their future at hands of fate. What became of the kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but the, its legend survived on the wind's breath. This is my favorite song from the game, by the way. On a certain island, it became customary to grab boys in green, or garb boys in green, when they became of age. Garb means to dress up, just in case there's people that don't know that. Clothed in the green of fields, they appear, or they aspire to but they expire to find heroic blades that cast down evil. Alright. That text box was longer than I thought it would be. The elders wished only for the youth, youths to know courage like the hero of legend. And that brings us here to Outset Island, I believe. Something like that. Outset Island. Very good. So like I said, I was trying to speedrun this not too long ago. And, uh, I got up to the Red Pearl, which was, um, about two hours in, but I had some problems. Big Brother! I'll try and do a girl voice. I, I'm not, I'm not good at voice acting. 
We'll see how well this goes. Big Brother! I, I don't know what that said. I looked away from the screen. <laughs> I'm just guessing it said brother. <sighs> I knew you'd be here! Hee <laughs> hee! This is my favorite spot to gaze out upon the sea! When I play with the gulls, I call it Ariel's Lookout! So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday! That's why grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good idea, or it's a, it's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Alright, so as I was saying, I did try and speedrun this a long time ago. Well, not really a long time ago, earlier today, than a little bit last week. And, uh, I, I think I mentioned in my update video that I have been trying to get better at it, and if I get sub-6 hours at some point, maybe I'll do, like, a live stream or something. I kind of got, like, the first little bit down, but past, like, the, uh, Dragon Roos Temple, I'm pretty much fucked. Or Dragon Roos Cavern, whatever it's called. Let's see if I can do an old lady voice. I have been waiting for you, Nerdyak. Not a very good one, but it's there. Nerdyak, try these on. Time certainly flies! I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes! You got the hero clothes! They look like they might be a little bit warm for this weather. I like how he's frowning. He's just like, Grandma, I'm disappointed in you. The fuck kind of gift is this? Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day of celebration. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, it was a day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are to are, are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Arca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swords play. Hanging the family shield on the wall is as as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. <coughs> That's killing my throat, by the way. Does all this make sense to you? Isn't that nice, Nerdiac? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party. So I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now go to your sister, Ariel. No! Oh, fuck off. Wow. You see this? This is why I'm not speedrunning <laughs> this game right now. Uh, yeah, I've ever not, never actually done that before. Normally at that point you would save warp back. And you would just end up in front of the uh, the ladder, so that's why I had so much troubles with that. Don't talk to that guy. That guy's a waste of time. He tells you about the grass, and that was a fail. He tells you about the grass. 
or how to crawl, something like that. He teaches you how to do something useless, so we're not going to talk to him. Ooh. I need to take a drink of this water, because the old grandma voice actually kind of like hurts my throat. <laughs> Alright. Ah, hoi! Big brother! Did Grandma make it- or make that outfit for you? But wow! You look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes! I guess you're pretty neat though. So anyway, Nerdiac! Can you close your eyes and hold out your hand? Just for a second? I'm going to give you the most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! We got his telescope. You got the telescope! This is your sister's most precious belonging, treasured dearly, or treasure it dearly. 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 Okay. Set it to whatever, whatever fuck button you want that, that doesn't get used in normal gameplay. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? Nee. Oh. Why don't you try it out right now? Look over by the look out left fucking look, try looking over at her house from here. Ariel swears a lot, by the way. She's kinda like me. She likes to swear. It's part of everyday life. I can't fucking use this telephone scope for shit apparently. Not today. The postman looks kinda weird, doesn't he? Ah, oh, Nerdiac, look up at the sky! So, uh, this, the, uh, when we get to Dragon Roost Island, the Dragon Roost Cavern's probably gonna be a little bit interesting for me. Because, uh, the way that I do it is a lot different from the way you're supposed to do it at the end. I don't actually know where you get the big boss key from. <laughs> I, I skip that a lot, so... Like, we don't require to have the big key to get through that door. Because there's something called dry storage that you can get, and then you just get storage off of a chest. And you can just walk pretty much right through that door. So, that's something that I've been doing a lot. Nerdiac, this is a ter- or this is so terrible! That girl fell into the forest! She needs your help! But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Yeah, I, I usually just skip that boss key entirely, so I don't actually know how to get the boss key in that temple. It's been a very long time since I've done this game naturally Oi. and normal. Oi! Nerdiac! Press L right there! And use A to talk to me. Try it. That's correct. You're a smart one. You, my friend, have just L targeted me. You see, when you press L, you can target a certain object. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even there isn't anything around to target, you can press L to face forward. You know is fucking quite handy indeed. There are um, myriad, myriad, myriad. I don't know what the fuck that word is. We're gonna pretend like it's lots of other ways to use L targeting as well. Quite an inter ingenious little thing, if I do say so myself. I don't know what myriad is. I know what Myriad Pro is. It's like the font for Apple commercials. I don't know what the fuck that word means, though. I'm assuming it means a lot of other ways. Of course, 